Oh, what a fantastic welcoming to Kuwait. We're getting absolutely drenched, cheers. but cheers. This is just ridiculous. They've got a globe full of glass panels. We are 125 meters above sea level right now. Hello, my friend. Hello, how are you? Salam, how are you? Do you want me to sit? They're feeding me. Okay, we're wow. being fed. Wow. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. We just wanted to smell. No. We look good? Yeah. We're like brothers. <laughs> Habibi. You're Cheers. Cheers. Ah. Good morning and welcome to Kuwait City, Kuwait. Yesterday we took the short one hour flight from Bahrain. Well, what a fantastic welcoming to Kuwait. We got off, got our visa, went through, and then for no reason, which we still haven't been explained to um we got pulled into a back room they threw everything out of our bags on the floor took our passports brought our passports back and then let us go and then just now we've literally just gone through and on instagram i've got this weird follower as we landed that is a kuwait assignment which just seems very weird very fishy everyone was a little bit odd but we're now waiting for the bus to go to the city and hopefully things are looking up. And after a little bit of confusion upon entry, we have made it to this tiny oil rich nation sandwiched between Iraq and Saudi Arabia. It's actually one of the most highly contested regions in the entire world. And we have the next two or three days to explore this somewhat underappreciated Gulf state. Look at the skyline. Welcome to Kuwait. Obviously having the sixth largest oil reserve in the world. They're putting that oil to use with a typical Gulf State skyline. Look at that. For perspective, we changed 100 US dollars and we got 30 Kuwaiti dinar. First impressions of Kuwait. There are coffee shops absolutely everywhere like all the other countries in the Gulf and it is a much more walkable city. Coming from our hotel this morning we've walked about a kilometre and there are pathways, there are bridges, things that we did not see in Saudi Arabia or Bahrain whatsoever. But when we're coming down to the Cornish I was not expecting a blooming beach and behind me right there in the distance the iconic site of Kuwait, the Kuwait Tower. It's probably the only thing I knew about this country before coming here. Who would have thought it? The beaches of Kuwait. And surprisingly, the water is actually really blue. You've got a few people relaxing and swimming. This is actually something we did not see in Saudi, was people around in the daytime. It's about half 12 right now, and there's people out at the beach. I'm going to dip my toe. Put your toe in the Gulf. Right, the oh, I'm going to get Sandy Gulf. toe. Ready? Is it cold? Oh my god, yeah, it's freezing. I was not expecting that. Considering, like, I know it looks a bit murky outside, the sun is out and it is warm, but that sea, that sea is cold. And there they are in all of their beauty, the Q8 towers. There is actually three towers and three different cylinder globes. One of them actually still operates as a water tower but it was originally opened in the late 70s and it has the traditional Islamic blue tile design around each globe. Unfortunately during the Iraqi invasion and occupation in 1990 these were heavily damaged um, during the Gulf War and then subsequently were rebuilt because over 75% were damaged. But today it is the symbol of Kuwait. And for me anyway, when I think of Kuwait, I think of these towers. It's crazy to think that building on these started over 50 years ago. They were definitely well ahead of their time. The closer you get, the more you realize the sheer size of these towers. Look at them, iconic. Hello. Can I have two tickets, please? Yes. <laughs> We're going out. Thank you, my friend. How many floors? 
it's to the top. So 120. Whoa. And how long does it take? We'll skip. 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Woo! And we're up. Woo! Thank that was you so very quick. much. Thank you. Thank wow. you, my friend. Wow. 120 floors up in 30 seconds. We are 125 meters above sea level right now and we've made it to the top of like the rotating cafe. Look at this, we are, we are currently, we are moving, it takes 30 minutes. It takes 30 minutes to do a full rotation um, but the tickets cost around $10 each to get out there. I'd say it's pretty worth it, they could have cleaned the windows though. There is actually a couple of restaurants that you can pay to go to below but I feel like the viewing tower is the best option, 3Q80. $10 and I like how it's rustic because it's built almost 50 years ago you've got like this old design floor and the little rustic cafe behind I don't know if you can see it but you are slowly moving so slow like the slowest the slowest pace ever it's snail space you know what as observation decks sky towers go that was a good one, I'd highly recommend it. It's got some history, it bears the scars of time, of war, and it's not just at the top of some fancy skyscraper, a bit like the Burj or in any other city around the world. But we're now walking to the, we're carrying on, we're walking along the Corniche that seems to go for miles, and we're heading to the Sook Shark Marina. They've named it <laughs> the Sook Shark. Marina, um, which apparently, being a sook, obviously has lots of shops. And oh, I can see it now. We're literally crossing the bridge. Behind me is the marina, and apparently, it's one of the better spots in the city to grab some lunch. We actually found this place by luck while I did. I was just looking on Google Maps and just zooming in on like restaurants and things, and I found this marina because when you type in like best things to do in Kuwait City, it pretty much only tells you to check out the towers and of course museums but I think this should be added to the list. It's a really cool spot actually to just come and observe the Q80 skyline. I mean the mall, the Sook, seems a little bit dead <laughs> but we're hoping up here somewhere is somewhere, 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 somewhere we can get lunch. Hopefully. It's a lot of somewheres. <laughs> Sometimes the places you don't plan for are always the best. Look at this. Such a nice place to take in the Q80 skyline and of course, like in Saudi and like in Bahrain, there's photos of the king and the prince, I believe, all across the country. Wow, I definitely found, this is the restaurant that I saw on maps, I knew it had a marina view and I think I've come up Trump. Isn't it the no-named restaurant? No, it's called Bacon Spice but it wasn't Arabic, but now we know. Saha. Saha, I have a huge jug of watermelon and pineapple juice and it comes with a huge skewer look at this this place is definitely um definitely our type of place what's, but what's it is more expensive i don't know quirky what, i hate that edgy. word it's just it's a nice place on the marina it's more expensive obviously because you are sat on the marina and it's fancy it looks like you're drinking something that goes with like a science experiment. i was about to say that it's like i've put something on the bunsen burner and you have a prickly <laughs> Prickly pear? What is a prickly pear? Are you going to just drink it? Yeah, I'm going to try it for you. Oh, that's nice. I tried prickly pears in Morocco. Really good. I love the little cups they come in as well. And here is our halloumi and aubergine focaccia. Why did we get this, Mr. Matthew? It's expensive and we're sharing <laughs> our lunch. Firstly, unnecessary green products on top of it. And it says on the menu that this is Kuwaiti halloumi. I'm not so sure about Kuwaiti halloumi. I think We've Cyprus. Tried it from the best, I feel like so. Cyprus would have something to say about that, but um, give it a go. It's good. It's nice. I mean, you pay for the view. You pay for the view in a sort of elaborate Kuwaiti non-alcoholic cocktail type thing. I don't know if I like aubergine though. What? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. It's nice. The halloumi's good. So drink in. My, pr my prickly pear mocktail. I've realised that this oh my God, it's going everywhere. isn't my prickly pears going everywhere. This isn't. Um, I need to shut up. This isn't a 
bit of fruit. I thought it was a bit of prickly pear, but it's actually a prickly pear. Actually, Ollie. I've got to be honest with you, Kuwait is not cheap. You look at the bill and you think nine dinars, brilliant. Nine, very cheap. But it's the first time ever your time's in the price for dollars by like three and a half. So nine came to around $30. We then jumped into a Kareem because Uber doesn't actually work. So you're going to want to download the Kareem app to get across the city. And we have headed to the biggest and most famous souk in all of Kuwait, which dates back over 200 years. And we're already lost. This place is huge. The souk is called Mubarakia Old Market. And by the looks of things, it's separated by like 100 different souks. I have absolutely no idea what I'm looking at, where I am. It's like an indoor market, an there's outdoor market. Indoor, outdoor, there's fruit, there's veg, there's food courts, there's perfume, of course. Um, yeah, this is hectic. Hello, my friend. Hello, how are you? Salam, how are you? Hello, hello. Do you want me to sit? How are you? Come on, Come on. Sit. Hi. Sit. Hi, how are you? Nice where, where are you from? London. We can sit? I will stand. Okay. Sora. Yes, yes. Sora. It's a video. It's a video. video. Okay. okay. Say welcome to Kuwait. From Kuwait. Say You're from Kuwait? Kuwait? Okay, okay. <laughs> Nice to meet. Are you are you from Kuwait? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. good. Life is good. Huh? And this is where you come to get your chai. Huh? You have chai oh, here. Chai, chai, chai. Good chai. Okay. Chai. Oh, good. Oh, oh no no. We said it's a good chai. Oh, good chai. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> you want chai, Molly? No, I'm good. Okay. Thank chai, 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 chai. No, I'm okay. no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Rashid. Of course, everybody is so friendly and uh, I'm hot for chai, but I'll drink chai if I'm invited for chai. <laughs> Shukran. So we were just walking along and our friends here invited us for chai. Shukran. Thank you. The Kuwaiti hospitality. Mm. Oh, that's good. It's sweet. My first Kuwaiti chai. It's very sweet, but you would never get this. Back in the UK, you wouldn't be just walking along. And look, new friends, our new Kuwaiti friends. Good. Habibi, Habibi. shukran. <laughs> this is Kuwaiti hospitality. They won't actually let me pay for the chai, and they were telling us that this is the best chai spot in all of Kuwait. There's like four or five different cafes, and all the locals will come here, they'll chat, have their chai, enjoy a cigarette. And I actually learned something new. They were telling me, this flag here was the old flag of Kuwait back during the British time and it changed to the one that we know today in the early 60s. This is Kuwaiti hospitality for you. We met for us, we had a chai and now we have been taken to their favourite restaurant and they're showing us some of their favourite snacks. I have to say, like, honestly, the food looks amazing, but we have just eaten. I feel like you should have a bite of something. Oh, honestly, I actually couldn't. I'm so full right now. Thank you. So, I've literally just had lunch, but we have got some Kuwaiti bread, and over here is... I love how they come. It comes in like a little parcel. We've got some baba ganoush. I feel like we're going to have to come back and try some of the traditional foods here before we leave. Is it good? Mm. Very good. Laziz? Laziz. Laziz. I love how they come. They come in like these little bread dishes. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to come back. They're feeding me. Okay. Doma. Mmm. It's good. Oh my god. We're being fed. Thank you. Wow. Great hospitality. It's good? Really nice. They're very good. Laziz. 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 I'm so full. Cheers. 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 Saha. Saha. Honestly, this is crazy. We just met Fawaz, he offered us tea, we sat down, drank tea, and then he said, come and sit and have lunch. We'd already eaten, didn't we? We sat and watched them eat, we had some snacks, and uh, now he's taking us shopping in the Sook. I mean, this is crazy, and these adventures are the best. Hello! Everyone's so friendly. Wow. Oh, I love the smell. It smells good. We're now in a perfume shop. It's going from one thing to the other. Oh wow, what's this? 
Is this traditional? Is this nice? Good? <laughs> oh, that's nice. nice! Is that for men or women? It's really well, it's nice. good. You know one thing you know about the Middle East? They spray so okay. much. And they all smell so nice. good. That is called Blue Imperial. <laughs> is this one Kuwait? Is this Kuwaiti? Yeah. Huh? Traditional? Traditional? No, 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 no. no. Uh, this uh, uh, France. Oh, France. Oh, French one. Yeah. Is it ah. good? I think they like the French <laughs> poif <laughs> Did you see how no, much they spray? No, no, no. no. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. We you just don't... wanted to smell. No. <laughs> please, please, let me. <laughs> I, ca I cannot wait, wait, accept, wait. I cannot. Mohamed! Molly, we cannot accept that. Wait, how, how nice. much this? No, 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 no. Do you you are too much of good man. How do you say good man? Time. 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 Can we say to him, no, 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 we pay, we pay. This man, the best Kuwaiti man. Hospitality, incredible. Shukran. Shukran. He is very Karim. Yes? Good. That means he's generous. I'm, my Arabic is getting better. I love this. Nowhere else in the world would you just bump into someone and then follow them all around the city. They're now actually taking us to a different sook that we're walking towards um, that does football tops. I said that I like football and things like this. He said, ah, you need to get a football top, a Kuwaiti football top. So I don't know. Go against everything you get told as a child in Kuwait and follow strangers. Okay. Let's shop. Shop, shop, shop. Football, football, Kuwait. Yalla <laughs> Imshi. We've essentially, Shukran, we've essentially been taken to an indoor oh fake God. market. <laughs> he's like the king of shopping. I don't know, like, he's the king of shopping. He absolutely loves to shop. From India. From India. From India? Yeah. Well, no, no, I'm Bangladesh. Oh, you have Kuwait? Mm. Oh, oh, nice! I will try on. I'm a bit kaddish. <laughs> you think this will fit? <laughs> this is, for you. This is good for me? Yeah. I will try, I will try. Okay. Oh, I think this is too small. Oh, okay, yeah. V-Bank. Yeah. It's good? It I fits. think maybe too small. Too small? I think. Oh. Yeah, do you have bigger? Oh, big, big. give me big. Yeah. This could do. You think it looks good? Uh -uh. Yeah. Do we look good? Yeah. We're like brothers. <laughs> Habibi. You wear a one, uh, one shirt on the winter. Huh? Yeah, I can get. Oh. What do you think, Molly? I'll get, I'll get it. Only one. How much is this one? one? Same. No, just for him. It's okay, thank you. Just no, for him. Same, same, no, no, same, no. Same. Just for him. Five. We got five. No, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. no, 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 you see this? He gets Did angry with me. Yeah. That's zero alcohol. Zero. No alcohol. No, no problem. <laughs> no problem. No we, problem. We add some alcohol. <laughs> Shukran. Shukran. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Ah. <laughs> Drinking beer on the street if you ate. It is not alcoholic, Heineken. It's good, huh? It's good. It's good. It's nice. I can't lie. I'm absolutely overwhelmed and exhausted. How did we meet up with some Kuwaiti locals who took us around, took us for a second lunch, bought us some perfume, bought us food, tea, and Matt a football shirt, and a non-alcoholic beer. Honestly, the hospitality is unbelievable. Later on in the evening when we said goodbye, I popped for dinner at a very traditional restaurant. Welcome to Bake Dixon. This has to be one of the coolest restaurants ever. It's a traditional Kuwaiti restaurant. And as you can see, they have all these like trinkets, they have old photos, old everything. This is so cute. It's a bit like a museum. It, it feels is. like a museum. The restaurant is actually designed like a sook and it feels like you're going down the alleyways just to be seated and it has like the traditional QAT teapots this is this is crazy this is so cool they've got these retro pepsi bottles literally a museum and this is where we are having <laughs> our dinner we have our own little booth and it is shaped like a castle 
everything is so over the top and I love it and we even have a bell I'm not going to call it because I'm not ready to order yet but so you can call and get somebody to come and take your order <laughs> the bell's going off. Oh my god, I hate that. And here is our Middle Eastern feast. Hello. Oh, more coming? Ah, we have bread. Yeah. Shukran. Shukran. Habibi. Shukran. Thank Shukran. You so much. It's a way. <laughs> we have a raise, which is like a meat inside bread with cheese, and we have a mixed pastry platter which has sambusa um, and two types of kibbeh we also have hummus and we have our bread i don't know why but like look at the size of this bread it's huge i'm gonna go in with the sambusa because and dip it in hummus i bet you're not supposed to do that it's like a surprise i don't know which one which one i'm gonna get because mm, they are the best and this chips and hummus that's Who so does wrong. that? Yeah, it's wrong. Well, hey! Shukran. Okay, I'm holding. Why is it not coming out? Okay. Oh, there you go, that is how you pour. Oh, nice. Pour coffee. Shukran. This is how you end the night in Kuwait. Oh. Need to wait? Okay, we've already had some Arabic coffee and this is the teapot for your traditional QAT tea. I'm not going to be very good at this. <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> oh, it's not bad. Cheers, and these are the little teapots I was talking about as we walked in, a traditional QAT tea I'm not pot. sleeping. No, it's we're going to be awake all night. The food was very good and it was in such a unique little setting. We have one more day in Kuwait and we're basically going to explore what Kuwaitis get up to at night, or what it's like at night. We'll see you in the next one.